there! I'm Sarah and this is Marek. We've been saving up for years and six months ago we finally set off to fulfill our travel dreams. But there's a catch. We have a budget. So the better we budget, the longer we get to travel. We started our travels in England, then spent three months living in the snowy French Alps. After that, we headed to Poland where we tasted delicious Polish food and now we are exploring the beautiful country of Georgia. Subscribe to follow our journey around the world. So the morning has finally arrived and it is time for us to leave this work away. So our plan is to go from here in Sveti to the Black Sea to a city called Batumi. Now just so you can understand the gravity of the situation, the only things that are certain today are the taxi that's busy waiting outside to take us to a town called Chiatura, as well as the accommodation that we booked in Batumi tonight. We know nothing. <laughs> between those points we don't speak the language and we don't have any buses or anything booked for our trip to Batumi so we want to use this opportunity and make this video and show you exactly how to use or hopefully we can figure out how to use the Georgian public transport just made it to a town called Chiatura and this is our first stop of our trip. Now the reason why everything kind of looks so like ashy and black is because Chiatura is a, is a mining based town and they mine a mineral called manganese. We're very very thankful to our host as well as our taxi driver. Our host explained to the taxi driver where we were trying to get to and he literally took us right to the bus stop and showed us the exact bus that we needed to get on. So this bus behind us right here is the bus that we needed to get to Putaisi. So it was ridiculously cheap to buy these bus tickets. It cost us seven lowry each to get from here to Kotaisi. But we're very, very thankful that we are at the bus stop because it'll, if it wasn't for their help, we would literally have no idea where to even start. But it's time to get ready, get a few snacks, and then get ready to get onto the bus.
So if that trip seemed quick, it's because it really was. That honestly happened so fast. We did not expect it to go that smoothly. We just went from taxi to bus to bus to taxi straight to accommodation. And all within that time, we honestly thought that we'd have a chance to talk to you and tell you about everything that we had learned and experienced in that time. But we didn't even have a chance to take out the camera and do that. But what we have done is we've made a quick note or a list of the different things that we've noticed and learned during our travel day. And we're gonna have a quick chat and tell you about all of it. So the first thing that we'll mention, and this could possibly help someone that intends to use public transportation here in the future is that there doesn't seem to be any kind of schedule to the bus system. That could be because we were using it in a smaller region, maybe in the larger regions or cities there's more of a structure to it. But basically you rock up at the bus stop, people are all shouting out different destinations, you find the bus that's going where you want to go, you pay for your ticket, make sure that you have cash because they don't take card payments and then you pretty much just sit in the bus and wait for the bus to fill up and once the bus fills up then they set off to the destination. So just in terms of the actual bus ride itself, these bus drivers drive ridiculously fast. You're honestly sitting in there holding on for dear life the whole time. This was very evident with the lady who was sitting in front of us. She was just being thrown from side to side. <laughs> but like she looked fine. She wasn't looking too stressed and I think she's just like used to it. Oi. But what we have noticed so far is that drivers in Georgia, they drive very, very fast. Just our experience, whether we're driving with a normal person, a taxi driver, a bus, they all drive so fast. And it's not like a highway, it's like little village roads everywhere and there's cows on the side of the road. So it's quite sketchy. <laughs> we nearly got into an accident as well. There was a car driving on our side of the road coming towards us and we kind of had to like pull off a little bit on the side of the road, but luckily we made it past that one. <laughs> Something else that we noticed on our drives throughout the villages is that there are these funny like yellow piping structures all throughout the villages and we think that it's the water pipes. Correct us if we're wrong, anyone that's Georgian that maybe knows better than we do, but it's quite interesting that they would have chosen to build it above ground. I mean at some points it's literally going all the way along the side of the road and then obviously with the houses the piping goes up and over like a driveway which is very strange and interesting to us so just in terms of the price now that was so so cheap to get from Tiatura to Kutaisi so our first bus we paid 14 Georgian Lari in total and to get from Kutaisi to now in Batumi we paid a total of 40 Georgian Lari and then it's just ridiculously cheap so we're cheap so <laughs> We drove probably about 300 kilometers today and like for that price it is really really good value for money and another thing that we noticed we'd always just like catch it either size of our, our word seed in front of us but people praying now as far as we know the main religion in georgia is orthodox christianity so like an example of that would be the guy who was sitting next to us he would take off his headphones put his phone away and he would just start praying or the other guy who was sitting behind him he would take his hat off and then start praying as well and this was happening regularly we're saying like every 15 minutes something it was just really cool to see this whole process but that wraps up all of our points about the public transportation here and our experience we're so excited to be in Batumi and to share more of the city we're already so impressed and you know what's coming if you enjoyed this video and found it interesting and useful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel out a lot. Comment down below how you would feel about hopping onto a rickety old bus and hurtling down the roads at very high speeds. And of course, subscribe so you can join us for our adventures in Batumi and all the countries we plan on visiting in the future. And also, <laughs> this is where we're staying but more to come in future videos. We'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys back this, this coming, coming Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> that was a goodie. I just thought I'd jump in there. <laughs> okay, let's go get some food now.